Hello my love goods and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build. And in today's video, I'm doing this really pretty just luxurious eco apartment. I don't know how other any other way of explaining it, but it's just very nice. I like it a lot. Um, it speaks to my soul. Um, but yeah, it's just a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment. It's in the Medina Studios apartment. It's that one apartment that I actually love building in the most. It's just, it's the smallest apartment and it's just a square. I don't know why. I love it so much. You know, I love small spaces. So um, this was actually really, really fun. So but yeah, you can see here in the bedroom, I did this really cool little uh, nook. This is actually the inspiration. I found this on, I think I found it either on Tumblr or Pinterest. Um, I do have a Tumblr, by the way. I actually made a new Tumblr. It's just lukeylupin.tumblr.com. I've just got a few things I'm, I'm reblogging on there. It's really just for personal use. It doesn't have anything Sims on it. Um, like It's got like a few Sims screenshots, but I found something on there that I thought was really cool. and. Um, like I saw just like a like a window like a nook with a bed beneath it and that was kind of the inspiration for this so um, I just put a bunch of plants and some candles on it I just thought it was just really 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 nice I don't know um, but yeah the couple of sims that I imagined living here I thought that maybe they were photographers or video editors or you know some form of um, like media creators I'm so sorry I'm trying not to burp but but yeah they're just some form of media creator type people that work from home and yeah they have a little tiny apartment but they seem to have you know a you know good you know time <laughs> like living here i don't know i was i just got distracted by noises but yeah um it's really pretty though i i love the content that i use i did use a little bit of custom content nothing too too crazy i will be sure to leave links to all of that down below in the description um i did use stuff from the sim kia furnishings pack by illogical sims and then i also used a couple of items from the tiny living add-on set that he made as well and then obviously kitchen and bathroom and then a, there's probably something yeah there is the wallpapers in the bedroom they're from the tiny traveler set I highly highly recommend checking those out the tiny traveler set is going to be released in June so uh, it will be available for everyone to download it then but until now if you would like to get access to that you can actually sign up for Harry's patreon I'll be sure to leave that linked in the description as well I highly 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 recommend uh, signing up for her patreon because she's got some really amazing custom content just saying like her and Felixander and illogical Sims like those three oh, they just speak to my heart they're my favorite CC creators they're pretty much all the CC that I have in my game right now is from them so yeah um, and I very much trust them it's super maxis match beautiful lovely perfect 10 out of 10 would recommend so yeah but um, after all that rambling I pretty much got done with the bathroom um, it's a very nice bathroom honestly I just it's very bright even though there's no windows it's very bright and very just clean and those mirrors from the bathroom set that go to the floor to the ceiling oh girl they're just they're just so nice but and the tiling on the wall that's actually from the spot I set I think yes it's from the spot I set it's very very pretty I just I love that seafoam green it's just very lovely and it kind of matches the wallpaper in the bedroom it just it's very cohesive but yeah, um, and as you can tell, I actually, if you can at least, <laughs> I actually moved and added some more windows into this apartment as well as I replaced the door and put a new one in uh, and put it in a new spot. Uh, I use the tool mod to do that. I've actually done this quite a lot, uh, but I will be sure to uh, leave a link down below to the tutorial that I did um, and you can go check that out if you would like to um, look into it, I guess. But yeah it's 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 not it's kind of complicated to explain how to do it with words but once you see a person doing it and you kind of understand what is going on and how you to use it you'll pick it up really really quickly there's so many amazing things you can do with that mod it's just it's mind-boggling like wow it's oof. it's by twisted mexi so uh, if you want to find it um there you go there's the username but um i'll if i remember i'll put a link down below but i will forget most likely so scream at me if you need it um but yes it's just i love this apartment it's just so bright i love the sim key counters they're so beautiful i love these few i use some decor and some clutter from the kitchen set the kitchen set is just 10 out of 10 amazing and also i just love this kitchen in general like the cabinets are from kitchen but like the the overall like orientation of the cabinets around the front door just I don't know what it is like I kind of imagine that that 
um, like that, war not a wardrobe, but that, that, that floor to ceiling, that tall cabinet, that's what I meant to say, uh, that is next to the front door. I kind of imagine that that's like where they put coats. I don't know. That's why I didn't put like a coat rack or anything. I just imagine they just put them away there. I don't know. It's just imagination. It doesn't actually function, but you know, it's, it's, that's what I do in this game is I tend to just build just because I like building and that's it. I don't really play the game that much, which, you know, is a shame, but at the same time, I just love to build and I don't really mind it. So, but yeah, um, anyway, um, I kind of went crazy with the decor, just saying it's, it's kind of a lot, but I really, really like it. Uh, I, I like doing that anyway. I know it, I know it can seem kind of, a lot sometimes in my builds, but um, at the end of the day, I just, I love clutter. It's just very nice. But moving on to the last little section of this apartment is the living room. And there's also a little bit of an office space. It's a very small apartment. So I had to really make do, what's the word? What, how do I say this? Um, I had to make this space work for me. Um, like it's, it was pretty cramped. So I do figure it out eventually. Um, I did this thing where I put two desks um, kind of facing each other so that, you know, it saves a lot more space doing that. I was actually going to do this L-shaped desk where one was like, you know, for one, but then I flipped these around and uh, I like the orientation. I like that they kind of are working and then they can just like look at each other and just be like, you know, hey, you know, they can talk face to face to each other so that it doesn't feel so impersonal or whatever, like just a nice little workspace. And then I separated the workspace with these, um, like these wall room dividers from the bathroom set. Really beautiful. And, uh, yeah. And that bowling night stuff couch there. I don't, I've, I have not used it in such a long time, if at all. I don't remember ever using it really, but it just works really nicely here because there's no arms. So it feels less cluttered at the same, like, I don't know. It's just very open and nice. I don't know. I'm making motions with my hands. You can't see. Um, but yeah, really nice apartment. Really love it. It's very colorful and not colorful. It's, it's not colorful, but there is like pops of color. That's what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. And I am, I'm very excited to do more apartments like this whenever Eco Lifestyle comes out. I'm incredibly excited for those things. There's apartments that come with Eco Lifestyle, y'all. I don't think there's a lot, obviously, because that's not like its thing. But I'm still very excited nonetheless, because I don't know. Apartments in The Sims 4, like at first I was kind of put off by how they are, because I think that they could have done a better system, kind of. But at the same time, I kind of really like them. I, I like how restrictive they are like I'm able to actually like you know not spend forever and a day figuring something out whenever it's like here's a shape here you got to deal with it and that's it I don't know it's just it's just really really cool but anyway um I hope you all are doing well though I hope you all are staying safe staying home staying hydrated staying healthy be sure to drink plenty of water please stay hydrated for the love of dear god like I know you I know you just like I know me Y'all be drinking coffee all day. Y'all be drinking tea. Y'all be drinking that black cherry Kool-Aid. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of, you know, um, guilty of that because, you know, black cherry is the best and it's the only good one. Like all the other Kool-Aid flavors, they pale in comparison. Black cherry is the best. Lime is pretty good though. I will say lime is, lime is secretly one of my favorite flavors ever of like candies and stuff. And I really hate that they changed the uh, green uh, Skittle to green apple because it's lime. It's always been lime. And how dare they change it to green apple because people are too afraid of lime. Anyway, I will rant about that all day. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, end this voiceover in like a second or two and uh, drink the rest of my green tea because my throat is throbbing, but <laughs> that's not weird. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this apartment is available on the gallery. All you have to do is search for my username, Lukey Dean. It's L-U-K-E-Y-D-E-A-N and the hashtag Lukey Lupin. It is a room, obviously, so you will have to replace the walls that I took down, but it's not too difficult but anyway i love you all so so much i hope you all are doing well and staying healthy and all that fun stuff and yeah that's pretty much it uh be sure to put fun first and stay weird and beware of the nargles bye y'all oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right with you and i the future is bright oh, you and i we got it oh, we don't need no
before I sleep Hear the crickets, see them 